Hello, hello. Today, I'm going to talk about the Kwangya, what it is, why it keeps getting mentioned, and what it potentially looks like. To start, let's look at what has already been revealed about Kwangya. The first video to mention it is the NCT 2020 The Past and Future Ether video, which is two minutes long, so I will read what it says. We are imputed to the community while living under a lot of influence, which makes general world of conscious just a buildup of sediment from these influences. Beyond the horizon of the sediment, there is another world named the unconscious. This world of unconscious is a world made of filtered events, emotions, which are the factors that only respond to I in the conscious world. It keeps expanding limitlessly from the deep sea, beyond the infinite universe. We call this wave Kwangya, created by filtration from the sea of unconscious ether. It is also a limitless medium and can connect dimension to dimension, people within people, emotions within emotions. We spread ether infinitely through new journey. Confused? Me too, but the basics are that the Kwangya is created by filtration from the sea of unconscious and can connect various things. The second time we heard Kwangya was in Espa's Black Mamba. Okay, so based on the context, the U is Black Mamba. So what we can get from this video is that Black Mamba wonders the Kwangya. The third time Kwangya is mentioned is in NCTU's 90s Love. Alright, so this introduces a new term, cosmos, and it also mentions the spreading wave from the ether video. In my opinion, this is one of the most confusing Kwangya references. We don't know who you refers to, what the new clash is, or even where NCT is. It sounds like they're inviting the listeners beyond the Kwangya, so is NCT beyond the Kwangya? But then, Ten says they could almost reach the cosmos, which is the thing beyond the Kwangya. So where are they? Anywho, the next time Kwangya appeared was in episode 1 Black Mamba. Alright, so in this video, we were shown the flat, which is where the eyes live, and they talk about how Black Mamba is in the Kwangya and is blocking Eswa from connecting with the eyes. We are also told that Kwangya is an unprescribed infinite extent with no rule and form, which sounds kind of similar to the limitless medium line from the Ether video. We are also further introduced to Navis, who we learn has the ability to open the door to Kwangya. We also know that this is where I, Espa, is traveling to. Next Level by Espa is chock full of Kwangya references. To preface, Next Level is about Espa traveling to the Kwangya. Literally all of the lyrics in the song are lore-related, but for now, I just focused on the ones that mentioned Kwangya and Cosmo. In the highlighted clips, Aspa said they're going to Kwangya, that's where the Black Mamba's home ground is, and Ningning Ning issues a warning not to look back, covet the things of the Kwangya, or break the promises. And it also seems that Aspa has become stronger in some way. Next is EXO's Don't Fight the Feeling, you know, where they're singing a very nice, uplifting song until... All 
Alright, so here it sounds like Kai is giving some advice, which is similar to what Ning Ning did in Next Level. But it's kind of hard to tell because it's just there, like with very limited context. The most recent music video to feature Kwangya is Hello Future by NCT Dream. This one doesn't have much of a story to explore either. It looks like the songwriters didn't know where to fit the word Kwangya, so they just added it. I mean, it's kind of like saying I love you and I want the whole Kwangya to know. <laughs> Lastly, at least for now, is the SM Congress. In the beginning, there was Kwangya. Beyond that was Cosmo. You have probably heard about such tales at least once. From an old book, or a movie, a song, through many creations being the result of our imagination about the universe. You may have come across the word Kwangya, or Cosmo, like us. In this space built on data and destiny, you, who is ready to travel, and us, ready to sing will come together. The story we'll share starts from Kwangya, where it all began. This music video is NCT's song and Espa's Winter. Special appearance of SMCU groups of the world and the world of the world. And the story of the Gangta's story is the story of the Gangta's story. The music video of the Gangta's story is the story of the Gangta's story. H.O.T의 강타, NCT 성찬, 에스파 윈터가 각자의 세상을 거쳐 광야에서 함께하고 있는 모습을 보실 수 있으셨습니다. SM 컬처 유니버스는 SM 아티스트의 세계관이며 저희가 그리는 메타버스이고 전 세계의 모든 팬들을 초대하는 거대한 세계입니다. 그 배경이 되는 곳을 저희는 이제 광야라고 부릅니다. 광야에서 펼쳐지는 음악과 이야기들은 SM 오리지널을 통해 여러분들을 만나게 될 것이고 the SM Congress covers a lot of information, and I'm sure there are probably things that I've missed. However, from what I did include in the video, we learned that Espa and Iespa were in Kwangya, we're going to learn more about NCT's worldview soon, the Kwangya is a very ancient place and the cosmos exists beyond it, and the Kwangya connects the artist's pre-existing worldviews. That was everything confirmed up to this point. Now, I'll delve into other connections, my own theories, and what this place might look like. First up, we have rules. Karina mentioned these at the beginning of Next Level. We also have Ning Ning warning us about coveting things of the Kwangya and breaking the promises. So, are there rules to the Kwangya? I thought that might be the case, but then I remember that Navis said the Kwangya is a place without rules. So, rather than there being laws to the Kwangya, I think there are guidelines to keep you safe while there, or something of that nature. For example, maybe staying united, not falling to temptations, not getting swept away or wavering, are tips for safely navigating the Kwangya. That's all I've seen about these guidelines, but I'm sure this will be elaborated on as more information is revealed. I also think there are different zones to the Kwangya. Here's what we've been shown of what it looks like. We have seen other places that look similar to this in music videos such as Naughty, the Ether video, and Mmm. But if that's the Kwangya, then what is the city behind Ningning Ning in Next Level? And what is the purple forest in Black Mamba? And how about these other music videos that have similar scenes? This is why I think the Kwangya must have various settings, but once again, we'll probably just need to wait and see. Thanks for watching, and if you have any information or questions, please write it in the comments. I can try to answer any questions, and if I'm not sure either, then we can at least be confused together. Bye!